G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts channel. Here I am metal detecting some areas in my home suburb where I have not been before and uh, this area here I've uh, pretty much overlooked in, my, in the whole time I've been metal detecting but it's because I generally think you wouldn't find much but I decided to give it a go and after finding a lot of junk, I tried a few other areas around the main highway didn't find much of a jump but anyway I've just dug myself this badge here Sydney 2000 Olympics I, I believe it is really cool looking badge anyway what a good find now let's keep going might find some more cool stuff along this trail here you can see that this trail a lot of people walk down here because there's a fair bit of wear on the grass so I'm sort of aiming to find some uh, drop change as I'm not going to find probably not going to find anything too remarkable besides what I've found I'll be fil practically filming every bit of change I find along this trail anyhow let's keep going okay viewers just dug a button probably made of brass or some sort of metal all right, let's keep going. Okay, viewers, just dug me a brown bugger, one cent piece. Yeah, expect to find those everywhere. <laughs> so far, no, no pocket change, apart from that brown bugger. Bit disappointing. Oh, let's keep going. Hopefully, I might find a few goldies around this trail. Okay, viewers, just found my first goldie, two dollar coin. So I'm two dollars richer now. Cool. Alrighty. Let's keep going. Hopefully we might find some more drop change along this trail. Okay viewers. Just uh, dug up some kind of metal handle of some, some sort. It's in interesting. Looks quite, quite interesting. Uh, Hills Hoist. Yep, this is definitely off an old Hills Hoist clothesline. Pretty cool, eh? <laughs> I'll have to see if, there, if I can find any examples on the internet to date this particular Hills Hoist handle. But yeah, I imagine it's off the uh, crank to raise and lower the Hills Hoist. Anyway, pretty cool find. Let's keep going. Viewers, just been detecting around the backs of these uh, properties here because I know they have been around since the 50s and going on a hunch that I might find an early coin and sure enough found myself a commie penny 1917 commie penny looks kind of uh, thinned out a fair bit but it's still re retaining its beautiful green but still um, retaining its detail and it's got beautiful green patina to it which I very much like yeah, so there are pretty decimals to be found around this particular area of of town. Cool. I'm definitely going to be looking around here a bit more often and see what else I could find. It's getting dark now, so I'm going to have to work my, work my way back. I've actually, uh, yeah, when I was uh, detecting this this area and uh, the, the coin came up uh, very jumpy on the detector, probably because it's thinned out a fair bit I wasn't really expecting much but yeah it was, it was quite deep it was about probably about that probably a good seven or ten centimeters down so yeah it was quite deep anyway yeah certainly makes this detecting session well worthwhile anyhow gonna work my way back to the car now it's dark as <laughs> See if I can find some more pre decimal coins along the way. Yeah, let's keep going. Okay, viewers, just dug me a brown bugger, two cent piece. Quite deep, probably about a good six, seven centimeters down. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, viewers, just dug a five cent piece. It's chasing it for a little while. <laughs> dug a big hole. Yeah, kind of annoying, but when you chase a target, anyway, five cents richer, it's 
pretty dark. It's hard. It's impossible to see what you're doing until you, unless you, um, except when I'm going by the light of my pinpointer, I'm sort of relying on that to see. So, yeah, it's very hard to see what you're doing. Anyway, let's keep going. Okay, viewers, I'm, I'm on my way back to the car now, and I've just dug myself a toy car. 19, I guess, 1977 Pontiac Trans Am. Very nice find. Pity about its condition, though. But yeah, I'll keep this one. Might be able to restore it in some way. So the main thing that's missing is its wheels, pretty much, and that's probably about it. Alrighty, let's keep going. Okay viewers, here's my finds of this afternoon doing this uh, park area which I've never done before so I found so I found myself a 1917 commie one penny with a beautiful green patina to it very worn though a beautiful find yeah glad I went along with my hunch and detected around the backs of the of those old properties found a Sydney 2000 Olympics badge really cool find that is found two dollars and uh, five cents in spendables a couple of brown buggers this looks like a this looks like a thumbtack not a button Found this nice hills hoist handle, probably from the 50s I'm guessing, 50s, 60s, that was um, the, old, the old clothesline was made. And found this nice 1977 Pontiac Trans Am. Actually no, it's probably a 19, it's probably a 1979, 81 to 81 model, judging by the front of it. No, I don't know anyway, but yeah, nice car. It's made it's made by Hot Wheels. Let's see if I can get a date on it. It says 1977. Don't know if it, it's probably it probably was when this uh, this particular car was actually made, or not just the. Just, not just the model of Trans Am, but when this Hot Wheels car was made. Anyway, really cool find. Alright, that's about it for this video. Stay tuned for my next hunt. This is Draw from Choices Real Arts Channel, signing out.